So every student coming onto a program in the School of Creative Arts, Culture and Communication has access to an, a bespoke online resource where we provide curated access to all the things that are offered to every student at Birkbeck. The second thing is we have specific modules or courses that are geared directly to employability. So for example, second year undergraduate students can take a course called Working in the Creative and Cultural Sector, where you learn about the conditions and the history of the creative and cultural sector, but also do very hands-on work researching a chosen sector that you want to get into and thinking about how you might present yourself into that sector by designing, for example, a portfolio or a website or a CV. Probably most students who are thinking of coming to our school are interested in placements though. And at both undergraduate and postgraduate level, we do have dedicated placement modules. And we work with a whole series of organizations providing extended placements, uh, usually lasting over about 10 weeks in most cases, in cultural institutions, app developers. We have placements with uh, translation services it, as part of social enterprises, community arts organizations, so I applied for the radio company placement and they offered the chance to create a commercial. When I did the commercial, I had to sort out actors and at one point we wanted to include a band, like a mu music band. So I had to kind of liaise with managers and sort out location, script. So it was really something that I'd never done before. <laughs> I've been through a job interviews um, a lot of times that, I mean, unrelated industries. And one of the things when I tell them that I've been to Birkbeck in my own time to do a degree in a different and art subject, it really opens their mind because employers really respect the fact that you've taken time to do a degree in your own time. Birkbeck has a very long 200 year history of providing courses aimed at working people. And what that means is that over the years, we've amassed a huge and diverse alumni network. We bring them in for guest lectures. We have alumni come in for panels. And also there are mentoring opportunities with alumni. It's also the case that our location in Bloomsbury is a massive advantage for us. So we are near some of the most dynamic and uh, celebrated cultural institutions in the world. We're next to a series of important media clusters uh, in Soho, at King's Cross, at Old Street Roundabout, for example. But also as a school, our academics aren't teaching from textbooks, they're teaching from their own research. And from an employability point of view, that means that you're understanding the sector uh, from people who are breaking new ground in researching the sector rather than uh, teaching from research that people have done from other institutions. We're talking to employers all the time. What employers want to be reassured of is that graduates come with proper graduate level academic skills so how to think critically how to analyze, how to reflect, and especially how to uh, communicate in a variety of different platforms. So I, I take that as, a, as the biggest learning that I have here, the ability of training in this academic rationale. I mean, it has started already to be useful for me to write applications to open calls and I won an open call from the Birkbeck Gender and Sexuality Institute and I'm going to do a stage reading of a play I wrote. When you're in your classroom with your teachers, they're giving you examples from the field, they're giving you contacts in the field potentially. I think I learned a lot because I was able to get the chance to experience directing, filming, editing and promotion like marketing and I learned about client relationships with companies as well. It wasn't just filming and shooting, it was kind of like doing the corporate side as well. I had to be professional for emails and phone calls. It was daunting but it was helpful because it made me step out of my comfort zone and help me build my portfolio as well so now I can put that on my CV and tell them that I was able to do that. <laughs>